hi guys welcome back to the channel in case you're new here hi my name is Hattie and thank you for clicking on this video today's video is a bit different i'm really really so excited to do this video and on my channel today i'm having granny teddy meet her i think she can introduce herself to you guys and what she does granny teddy please introduce yourself to the viewers Hattie, thank yeah. you for hosting me yes i'm so happy to be here my name is teddy my channel name is in the process of rebranding from brandy teddy mm -hmm. to same Gera teddy my real name okay i am a mother to three children mm -hmm. a girl who's four years okay a son who is two years wow. and a newborn baby of seven months well, we have a seven month <laughs> baby yes. well congratulations thank you i'm here to talk about kids about motherhood about mom life about how motherhood has really changed our lives so we are here to discuss issues everyone have their own different experience so i may have my own experience and she may have her own experiences so we are here to discuss both to share both of our experiences so i think for kids i think you had your own life right yes. yeah then what has changed after you having kids what what has really changed advantages and disadvantages so being a mother yeah is just a blessing mm -hmm. exactly uh before you have kids i, I already said this i would love for every woman to have a kid yeah me too because there is that unconditional love, love that you I get know, for know. this little human being that yeah. Is irreplaceable. Uh -huh. mm. Exactly. So I just this takes me back to the day I gave birth to my first child. Yeah. You guys, I just cried oh as God. soon as the baby landed. Wow. I just started crying, and you know what I was saying? Mm. My baby is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was. That's it so was. Sweet. And it was emotional. It was so emotional. Yeah. And at that moment, I started appreciating my mother. Mm -hmm. In that moment, yeah. wow. that's when you're like, wow, she went through all, all this. All this, the labor pain. Exactly. The work. So, mm -hmm. basically, it has changed me as a person. Mm -hmm. If you find me now, I'm not the same person I was yeah. uh, four years ago. Uh -huh. Somehow, it forces you to grow up. Yeah, becoming exactly. a mother, mm -hmm. becoming a parent mm -hmm. forces you to grow up. Yeah. Because now your life is no longer about you. you it yourself. is now you and your kids. Yeah. Your social life also. Everything is changes. changes. Yeah. You notice that even your circle of friends it reduces or it and changes. Yeah, true, definitely. Because now you're like what is this person adding to me? Mm -hmm. What is this person adding to me? You begin to choose who you who to be with exactly. according to friends. Yeah. You begin to choose who to be with and who not to. Plus you discover, you discover. a community of other mothers. Mm -hmm. Yes, In a way, there's a way mothers get connected to each other when they are in a certain place. Exactly. So that has changed for me as a person. Yeah. And also... Body wise, physically? Yeah, physically. Oh my god. <laughs> physically, a lot has changed. Yeah. You guys, before you give birth, mm, you're feeling yourself. I know. Your body, everything is like, eh, eh. For my case, I was so small, I was so skinny, you can't believe. Uh, after having a baby, the weight I gained, oh mm -hmm. my god, I don't know. I, even if I do, I try to do anything, even if I try to gym, even if I try, I try to change my diet, but I think my body is just... It just adjusted. Yeah, it just mm. adjusted. So, in, okay, I'll not tell you my cages, but <laughs> I don't go above it and I don't go beyond it. Even if I do anything, it doesn't Did change. Did this happen so. with the first child or the second? The first child. Mm. Yeah. There's something about adjusting to the new body, you yeah. guys. It's not as it's easy, not easy as it as seems. It, yeah. This thing is mental. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because before kids, you're looking at your boobs, they're just pointed, your stomach is flat, mm -hmm. you have your figure. Yeah. Now the baby comes mm -hmm. and things change. change. Everything changes. The stretch marks, the stretch marks, the stomach, the belly, the, oh which my. is refusing to go back. I know. For my case, for me, I think why I'm not even losing the weight, I'm a C-section person. So even oh. here, even if I try to do anything, because they don't allow us to 
it one hour to immediately. Yeah, immediately. Have you have to wait like for one year to really, really do, do that workout. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time. So. And uh, maybe to our viewers, mm -hmm. how did you manage to accept your new body and live with that? <laughs> like I said, it is mental. Yeah, it's mental. So, I managed to accept my body because, you know, I have support from my husband. Because I always tell him, oh, look at my stomach, I've changed a lot. He was like, Hati, he, he's always telling me actually, always, Hati, you have kids, you have a baby, you you breastfed, so you know, your boy, yeah, you be, I will love you the way you are. From wow. that time, I'm like, that's the support. Yeah, you that's the support. Name. So even if anyone out there says, oh, you're this, you're that, you're, you look at your body, so long as my husband likes me the way I am, so mm. it doesn't matter. Let me see before I say something. <laughs> mm. Let's continue. After having kids, everything, time, everything. And you have to, you know, you have to work out your time, you understand? You have to plan, you get. Everything is for Yeah, planning. everything takes longer with kids. For example, you remember when we didn't have kids, eh? We used to we used to manage our time. We say like after thirty minutes I'll do my makeup. After ten minutes I'll be to this place. But with the kid, guys, <laughs> with nothing kid, happens in the time, in the that time you, you like expect to do it. it. Exactly. Mm. So you may be having maybe you may be going with the kids somewhere, maybe to the hospital, maybe mm. to visit family and you've already changed everything you've already changed his clothes, his smart and you know. After like a few minutes, you know that. Have you ever experienced that? Have ever? You just put them. You you just dress them up. But then after the moment you go upstairs or maybe somewhere in the room to dress yourself up, you find him already dirty. The diapers double maybe as double. So what do you start exactly. with? Do you start with preparing yourself or the kids? I start. I start with the kids. Me, yeah, I start with myself. Sure. So I start with. The because so when you start with the children, mm. you're going to leave them there and, and go play. and they play. Mm. By the time you come back, it's like you've done nothing uh -huh. at all. So I think it's better you start with yourself as they are playing yeah. or having breakfast. You then after you dress, dress up, up mm. yourself, maybe you just maybe remain with only putting on the dress, the dress but when everything else is done. done. Mm. Then after they will be the last. Yeah. For me, I actually prefer, <laughs> but which them. is bad. <laughs> I actually prefer starting with them then after I leave them do whatever they want but I don't put on the I don't dress them up the exactly clothes they exactly. are going to use so, so that I, means you're dressing them last yeah I dress them last mm -hmm. actually I do that I, I do that last but again you find them already messed up their clothes I know <laughs> it is not the clothes they are going to use but they already messed up. So, right. Yeah. So that is it. If you're having kids, expect that. Prepare for that. <laughs> Another thing is when you have kids, you need planning becomes essential. You understand? Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. Planning for dinner, mm -hmm. planning for lunch. Okay. Oh okay. my god. Planning. It's a daily chore. It's for me, I used to like, oh, after work or after university or after school, I used to come back on at my apartment. I'm like, I'm going to eat a chapati and and see <laughs> and I'm done. Yes, and I sleep. Relax. But with kids, guys, you have to, to cook. plan. You have, you have to, to plan. plan. Yeah. And imagine if you don't have a helper. Uh huh. Home. Exactly. And for my kids, they're a bit picky. They're a bit picky eaters. So I need to plan with them. You understand? I plan with them according to the food we have at home. I ask them. What we have this, we today? have this, we have this. What you want? Choose from the foods mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from there, you plan, and you have to make sure you make three course meals with kids. It's not like you are alone; you can <laughs> eat one meal and you sleep. Yeah, but with kids, you have Imagine to. Imagine you are going to bed and sleep. Yeah. Like, Mommy, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So mm. expect that if you have kids, you're not going expect to feed them okay. with a snack. Expect to be with snacks. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have kids, like she has said, you guys, you have to cook. You have, you have to, to cook. prepare food for your kids. Yeah. Healthy food. Exactly. Not snacks like uh -huh. those days when you were just alone, you buy a casserole. and you, you eat and sleep. Uh -huh. Kids need food. Yeah. And another thing, guys, I don't know if it is with me only, but for me, since before I had kids, I wasn't anxious. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But now, since I have got kids, I'm so anxious. You know, I really think and I, i'm really scared i'm Why? scared of the future that? you know 
because sometimes I move, sometimes we move, like I move with my husband, we go like somewhere to some country, maybe mm -hmm. for work, for vacation. Mm -hmm. Then this time I start thinking, what are my kids doing at the moment? What if we get a problem mm -hmm. here? Who will, oh, you know, that so your worry is yes, uh, I worry going bad on your on side. On my side or on them, then I'm like thinking, an accident. Yes. Then I'm, I, I, I'm, I try to like, oh, now who will stay with them? I don't know if it's happening to you also. Yeah, but it happens sometimes. Even if, even if I'm not. Even, even if, if I'm in the country, in. even if I'm in the country and I I just drive a car and I go somewhere, I start thinking, what if something happens to me, mm. you know? I my think kids. That is mental. Yeah. My kids, yeah. I'm so anxious. Guys, <laughs> I don't know if it's with me alone or no, someone you're else. Not alone. You're not alone. Mm. But you ha what are you doing about it? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> it is just nothing. It is yeah. just in your in head. Your, my head. So every time exactly. you see that those negative thoughts uh -huh. come just replace them with something positive, positive. yeah okay. at least think of your family your mm -hmm. support system mm -hmm. it is there for you yeah. it is there they can take care of the mm -hmm. children yeah in case something goes yeah. bad mm -hmm. and you don't have to you have that. relatives exactly mm -hmm. and you don't have to think that something bad is going to happen mm -hmm. yeah work on that you just have to be positive, positive. be positive mm -hmm. be open-minded mm -hmm. yeah do you have anything of how kids have changed your life anything else yeah. from me yeah. um it's just the joy they bring in my life mm. you know there are times when you're so down mm -hmm. and you feel like nothing is bringing you joy exactly. you feel like you're stagnant in your life you're mm. not going anywhere you're not moving forward yeah. but then these kids when come, they come you know they come your, with their they hearts, bring their joy to you the and cases, you're left they, with no option yeah, even if you had a, you have a, 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 very a bad, bad day, day yeah. yeah the kids there's a way that there's kids joy, bring you guys joy they bring, bring to your to life you, yeah. and mm. you feel like yeah, I can overcome. And even anything. you stand strong. You yeah, know, yeah like, if you I have my children strong. by my side, yeah, nothing can be fair. Exactly. You you also think about the kids' future. You know, mm -hmm. you understand. You guys, when you have kids, you think about the world in a different way for the for the kids' future. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what is going to happen in the coming years when you are not around. Okay. Like, so your worry is, is if my kids grow up, how are they going to going be in, to the, be, world? Yeah, in the world? What kind of people are they going uh -huh, to be? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What kind? So that's my worry. So also. here is the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, just do what you can. Mm -hmm. Leave the rest to God and, yeah, the, children. and the children. Just do what you can. Yeah. There's a quote in the Bible that says, uh, what, what is it called? I've forgotten. I have to first mm. check. Mm. But it's about family and it says, uh, raise up the children and the godly way so that when they grow up when they grow up they, uh -huh. they will not forget yeah. what you told them when they were young mm -hmm. do your part leave the rest to them leave the rest to them and to God mm. and another thing guys before I had kids I used to think that I'm too busy like this is true <laughs> I used to think I, I'm too busy with my social life with work with school but after having kids i know what busy means hey, hey. you guys <laughs> you can't understand if you've you can't have been there before yeah, i know what busy being busy means you guys mm. and more it more so if for example for me at least i'm having some help at home mm. but of course i take most of the part because the kids you know they grew up with me you mm. understand they grew up with me so most of the times they come to me they want me to feed them they want me to shower them sometimes but to play with them to play with them you guys now run. imagine mm. those three children under five uh -huh. And you're alone with them. You're alone with them. You don't that have is my life, life yeah. right now. For me, for me, even I, you know, I try even to run away from them. I run. I lock myself in the room. You can't hide away from the children. <laughs> you hear? Even if you are in the toilet, they will knock. Mommy, exactly. this one is disturbing me. Mommy, I want this. You hear you them coming and knocking the, the door, you guys. You. That is what you said. Privacy is no more. No more. Yeah. No more. 
your bed is no longer yours, yours alone exactly. you can't use the bathroom by mm -hmm. yourself yeah. without anyone interrupting you guys <laughs> the last point of how having kids have changed my life mm -hmm. my social life has also increased more because of the kids Really? Uh, yeah, my social life has increased because you know, for me, I always want to take my kids somewhere out, you know, somewhere to, to travel. Uh, no, not even to travel, not mm -hmm. not if, not in the country, not out of the country. Maybe we go to parks, we go, we go to playground areas, mm -hmm. you know. So they go meet new friends. New friends. So and from those friends, I meet mothers. new mothers. <laughs> I also meet new mothers. So my social life is also you know also good you understand and and i'm even more active like running up down the stairs <laughs> playing with them so not just being on your phone in the house so i'm so active and i'm really i'm even even i think i've gained more confidence with kids mm -hmm. because of meeting new people before i wasn't i was a shy person i was a, an indoor person but mm. now I'm, you know i'm out there dropping kids to school i meet new parents we talk uh, so you guys let me know down if your mother's there let me um let me know down in the comment section below how, how being a mother changed, changed you your life person. yeah so yeah. these are our texts with um we've discussed with brani teddy and i'm so happy to to i'm so happy to see her on my channel and yeah i'll be linking her channel in the description box down below so that you go check her out we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of being maids. with maids at home yes, in you'll Hatton, find that you on own, my channel. Yeah, exactly. So I'm really so happy to see you and you. yeah. What do you think overall? Overall, yeah. you guys, if you don't be scared of having yeah. kids. Uh -huh. Our opinions are our experiences. Exactly. You will have your own experiences. Mm -hmm. If it so happens, don't regret anything. Mm -hmm. Children, mm -hmm. once they come, they are a blessing. Yeah. Planned or unplanned, they're a just blessing. Be glad and they they're happy. There's a sort of happiness to the family. Mm -hmm. There's a way they bring joy, you know, joy and happiness to the family. Even if you're down, you know, there is the children can light up. They can light it up your world. Your world. Yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you so yeah. much for watching. Yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video guys. Don't forget to have the spirit of gratitude and be thankful to God to something you are grateful for. Until next time, bye, bye guys.